Hi Libra, welcome to April 2019's love reading. Today I have a five card spread for you, five cards for you, five cards for your person. Although sometimes the energy does flip flop, so if you relate more to the bottom than the top, go ahead and go with that. All right, oh yes, and thank you so much for clicking this video, for subscribing, sharing, and commenting down below. Um, and for your patience as well. I know it's April 7th. We're a week in already. Thanks for waiting for me. First card out is the magician. This is your theme for the month. So it is up to you to remember that you have the power. And what you do with that power is completely up to you. The magician can manifest any of his desires and he can also misconstrue the truth. Um, so this month, we have the focus on your power and what are you going to do with it? The person is experiencing um, a new cycle. They're choosing to leave certain things behind um, so that they can be more prepared and open for relationship. The challenge for you is the Wheel of Fortune is trusting the timing of things, trusting the cyclical nature of fortune. Essentially, uh, in life, the wheel of fortune is always turning. Sometimes you'll be on top, other times you'll be on the bottom going through it. <laughs> so your challenge this month is trusting those cycles and being patient when you are at the bottom of things and taking advantage and seizing the day when you are on top. A challenge for your person is communication. There's some sort of message that they are finding difficult to express, likely due to all of the changes that they're making in their own lives. But there's some sort of message that your partner is needing to express or wanting to express or hoping to express to you this month. Unexpectedly, we have the Seven of Swords. Now this Libra could be you as an air sign or it could be who you're relating to. But unexpectedly, there's some con communication that's less than truthful. Someone's trying to get away with something here. Um, and if that person is you, make sure that you are using your power for positive outcomes, that you're not seeking to manipulate people um, for your own benefit, right? So if this is not you, it's also to look out for the truth um, as you're relating to this individual, to use your intuition to make sure that you're being told everything you need to know, that you're not being manipulated, but that instead you yourself are leaning into your powers and getting what you want out of things. Of course, very honestly, <laughs> very honestly, you want to make sure everything you do is um, genuine and transparent so that your karma can be the same way. Unexpectedly for your person is you. They run into you and see what you have to offer. And for a lot of you, or for a lot of your partners, your, your power and your genuine energy is what attracts their attention. It's what gets them into um, your zone. So make sure, or make sure you're being yourself. But the the most powerful version of yourself, but yourself nonetheless. Your advice this month is the Queen of Pentacles to get grounded, to, to get your manifestations out into the open, right? So taking things from one plane or one realm, the realm of your imagination, your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams, and bringing it into the physical realm. Uh, where you can nurture the seed, where you can tend to um, your manifestation and ensure that it becomes a reality. Take care of the seeds that you're planting this month and also to take care of yourself. 
the queen of pentacles is so kind and so generous and so um, interested in the well-being of other people that she often forgets about herself. So your advice this month is not to do that. Remember who you are. Remember what you have to offer and honor that. The advice for your person is to build with you, is to build, uh, which is beautiful energy for Libra. Your person has, has things to learn on their life journey, in their relationship journey, and things to experience that only you will be able to provide for them. So their advice this month is to lean in a little bit, right? We go from the water elements to air, and now all three of these cards have been about earth, earth energy, and being grounded and stable and forthright. All right, finally, the outcome, Ten of Pentacles. You're feeling like this individual has a lot of potential and checks a lot of boxes for you, especially once we get past like the middle of the month. You're, you're starting to think about what you would like to manifest and see within your life and whether or not this person has the potential to bring that to you. There's a good chance that they that they have that potential for sure. I think for a lot of us, it's too early to know with 100% certainty. Yeah, it's too early. The hanged man is asking your partner and therefore you to look at things from all sides, from all different perspectives. Now, your partner may be a little more apprehensive because of whatever this is they're leaving behind. Hey, before they get to you, what are they struggling with? What are they uh, coming to terms with? And this is what's going to uh, cause this. This standstill. It's a pause. It's an opportunity for them to reevaluate and make sure they're going in the right direction. So allow them this space. Hey, okay? allow them this space, especially um, since it is newer. For a lot of you, it's newer. For some of you, this might be someone who's coming back from the past and they're not quite sure. Whatever it is with this Wheel of Fortune here, you're supposed to enjoy it, be it the positive or the negative, for the time being. What can you get out of it for right now? The Oracle card we have is the Heart Guardian. It says, love and let yourself be loved. Okay, so the, the experience of love and learning from love and relationship is one that Libra is built for, quite literally, especially when you're ruled by the planet Venus. So regardless of how long this is going to last and if this is going to be the person you marry and are with for the next 10, 20 years, regardless of all of that, there is a sweetness here. There is an opportunity here. So this card is asking you to allow yourself to be loved. To enjoy whatever this is while it lasts. Could last for quite some time or it might burn out bright. But Libra is being asked to tap into love anyway. Finally, your Adinkra card is a snake climbing, climbing the raffia tree. I'm going to read that little paragraph down there. It says, because of its thorns, the raffia tree is a dangerous challenge to the snake. Their ability to climb the tree is a model of persistence and prudence. So yes, you've been through a lot when it comes to relationships. Uh, yes, you're probably very wary of them, but just like the snake climbing this uh, precarious tree, um, the, this relationship is giving you the opportunity to think outside of the box to, um, and it's asking you to move in ways that you have not moved in before. Okay, to be flexible, to go with the flow, essentially. So Libra, we are seeing a lot of positive, a lot of positive energy, 
Also a couple things to be vigilant about to make sure that you're being your true self um, and that others aren't seeking to take advantage of your heart. Okay, I hope this helped Libra. Thank you for your patience and waiting. Be sure to check out uh, the link in the description and the top of the comments so that you can book your own personal reading. On my Facebook page, I go live um, like every other day and give free reading. So if you want to be part of that, go ahead and like that page. And I will see you in another video. Bye.